Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, man and fellow, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days. That they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Matt, I thank you, take you, fellow, to be my wife. Take you, fellow, to be my wife. Good half of the whole. Signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and his church. They're perfectly round, made of precious metal, symbolizing that there is no beginning or ending, but the love that this couple has one for the other goes on into infinity. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, I give you this ring. Well, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I am. And all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Matt, I give you this ring. Matt, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I, have. I, honor, you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. When ministers ordained in the United Methodist Church, the bishop places around his shoulders a skull similar to the one that I am wearing. It symbolizes the authority granted to me as an ordained pastor to solemnize marriages such as we are doing now. At this point in the service, I shall take off my skull, the yoke of Christ, and tie it around the right hands of Matt and Bella, symbolizing that the two become one to the church of Jesus Christ. It is from this act that the saying comes, they went to the church to tie the knot.
have given themselves each to the other by solemn vows, <coughs> with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. There are many symbols in the life of the church, and one of them is light. On the altar, there are three candles. One stands for Mac, and one stands for Bella. At this time, they shall go to the altar as their first act of marriage, and they shall light the center candle, which is the Christ candle symbolizing that the two become one. As they light the candle, neither light dominates the other, but they are doing it together. Make of our hands one hand. Make of our hearts one heart. Make of our vows one last vow. Only death will part us now. Make of our lives one life. Day after day, one life. Now it begins. Now we start. One hand, one heart. Even death won't part us now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 